Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad and I love Pokemon. In the last part, uh, we caught Suicune in a awesome catching victory. And then afterwards we did a tag team against Lance and Claire in a very pathetic fight. Uh, in terms of me actually doing stuff. Because I suck. But don't worry, we might do a rematch in the future. Um, maybe, never, I don't know. Maybe sometime, I will say that. Uh, in this episode, we'll be heading south to Vermilion City. Since we're done with the, uh, so-called side quest that I remembered of. I sense a sinister shadow hovering over you. Take this to ward it off and we get a cleanse tag. If you hold it, if you give a Pokemon to hold it, uh, it'll repel while Pokemon wishes. Okay, I never really found it that helpful most of the time, but, uh, whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys recognize this building for being the uh, daycare center from the Kanto games. And there's a rock climb thing. If you know, guys know what it's talking about, I kind of find this useless. Because seriously, why would you want to head up to that same house? I don't know. It's a weird placement issue. Uh, well, not really an issue, but it's just weird placement. And now, with the power plant uh, being fixed and stuff, we are able to uh, head on head to the underground tunnel which is kind of weird I it doesn't really make sense why this place was uh you know blocked off in the first place but you know oh it's a rage candy bar can I have it uh, sure I think this is where I gave the rage candy bar munch how upsetting but it's so good oh, it makes me mad ooh, ooh, I'm feeling much better thank you for your candy uh, this is like take five for Pokemon Jesus we get TM64, so now I know where this is going. <laughs> what is this, Quash? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Wow, the music actually going pretty well with this. <laughs> Kaboom! I think we know what this is. If you don't know what it is, well, I mean, maybe I kind of didn't know the description of it. It's Explosion! Uh, it is the most powerful move in Pokemon history. 250 power, 100 accuracy. It kills your own Pokemon, but it does tremendous amount of damage. Obviously, I can't. There's no point of learning it since Stratmo already has, and he is the only Pokemon who learns it anyway. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, what I want to talk about is something interesting aside from Pokemon Origin, which is amazing to have or to actually think of. Um. Let's have a double battle. Let's have a double battle with these two. Um, Pokemon. Uh, I want to talk about Digimon. I'm pretty sure you guys know that Digimon's on Netflix, and I guess for those who actually have Netflix, the the first two seasons I believe are on Netflix. Um, I gotta say it's great to go back to you know that kind of childhood and stuff. Like I never really got into the Pokemon series, the TV show, as much as uh, the other stuff. As much as Digimon. I, I mostly like Digimon, uh, the series more. But it seems like the Pokemon games have a more uh, impact towards the audience than uh, the Digimon games. Because I, I am not familiar with any Digimon game, really. Uh, so that's probably why. And this is probably a easy win because, well, we kind of, sort of killed them. Uh, Shadow could probably handle this, yeah. And there we go. Actually, um, something interesting. The gym we're about to head to, which really isn't far, which is probably in this episode, I'm most certain we are able to do this gym. Luckily, um, what's over here? Ah, oh, it's a Pokeball. Um, I don't think that trainer's gonna move. We got TM62 Silver Win. Pretty good move. Again, I don't think any of my Pokemon learns it. It's a bug move that has 60 power, 100 accuracy. It's pretty much like ancient power, except it's a bug move. So... Uh, you have 10% chance of raising all of your stats, which is amazing to have. It's great to give it to someone who has Serene Grace, like uh, Togetic, if you have one, and you're trying to get a Togekiss, which, if you are being this this patient for it, I, I applaud you. I applaud you for that. Anyway, here we are, Vermilion City. We're back to the most beautiful song. Yeah, it is probably the most... Relax. My, my most uh, favorite town song in this game, actually, in this entire game. Or no, maybe Sinewood City is my favorite. Actually, mm, I'll say this goes 
number one. Sideward goes to close second. Uh, this is a guy who's similar to Lake of Rage where he wants to ask for a magic carp. Sir, I don't want to deal with you, even though we can easily get magic garbs like right here. I just don't want to do it. And here's something interesting. This guy, my opponent's preparing a land for construction, but I have no money to start the project. This guy has been working on construction since the very first Pokemon game. And a lot of people were hoping that something would have changed, but no, no construction, nothing in gold and silver, nothing in fire and leaf green, and nothing in this game. And now, it feels like we will never see what they're going to make ever. Which sucks, I would like to see, uh, you know, if it actually has some purpose, otherwise this is one of the points where, you know, having an AI is kind of useless. But then again, it is the first two generations, and they usually have very pointless AIs. Uh, so let's see what else gets, what else do people say? Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that connects to Johto. Or, yeah, I fixed it for everyone. Magnet Train. Yeah, I fixed it for you too. God. Okay. Um, I believe we already did this already. Yeah, we did this already. The fan club thing. We went there twice actually, so there's no point of this. And every time I think of this house, I think of that far fetched trade. Man, don't get me started with that. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. Distant? Oh yeah, it is pretty distant now that I think about it. I was like, well, it's not that distant, but no, it's actually pretty distant. <laughs> distant, 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 distant everywhere. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, well, hey, guess what? We get to break the rules. We get to use Surf when we don't have to use Cut because Surf is more better than HM. Ha <laughs> ha. Take this now, game. Crap. And after that obnoxious battle against that tentacle because it decided to use Rap on me, uh, let's head into the gym. It's pretty close by to this, and I wanted to actually uh, do this really quick. Now, this gym actually has the puzzle. Well, crap. Uh, this puzzle is based on uh, just looking through garbage cans and hoping for a switch. Uh, if you find the right switch, you have to find the second switch uh, that is either next to it. So it could be either left of it or anything, or, or any of anywhere uh, perpendicular from it. Which kind of sucks. I'm not really into this kind of thing. Uh, in fact, I th it's really hard to you know try to avoid uh, certain trainers here too. Um, in the original game, though, in Gold and Silver, none of these, uh, there was actually no gates. All you needed to do was, like, just avoid the trainers. So, I thought it was really weird. A lot of people make mistakes, and some very known Let's Player who Let's Played Crystal might had something, you know, was probably a victim to that. But I wasn't, because I was smart, nothing personal, but, you know, just, just saying, just saying. Anyways, enough of that. Let us uh, take on these trainers. I wasn't expecting any trainers. I actually thought there was no puzzle here. Uh, but yeah. Speaking of Digimon earlier, I actually just saw... Uh, I was just watching um, the movie not too long ago. God, I still just love the the way uh, everything's just made and stuff. I'm going to use uh, Hera for this because I don't want to have to expand too much from this. Alright, how do we have here a Flaffy? God, I was about to say, um, earlier I was about to s uh, introduce this game as Pokemon Sapphire. Because I've been playing, um, I haven't been playing, I've been watching uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's blind let's play of the game. And just like, ah, uh, it's like facepalm everywhere. And I understand this is uh, first time playing the game, but like, uh, that's how it happens to all of us. <laughs> and ooh, an Electric. Well... We're seeing some uh, more new Pokemon. Interesting thing is that Electrike's uh, Evolve form can learn Flamethrower, which was really cool. Makes it a way better Pokemon than it originally was. Um, nothing bad about Electrike, but it had a very low move pool back then in uh, the third gen. Which, of course, fourth gen introduced so many better things. Alright, now, can I find that trash can? No? Is it this one? This is like the last one I haven't checked. Yes. Oh, I could have... Okay. Well, we got the first one. I'm going to take a wild guess. Uh, basically, when you get it wrong, 
it resets everything, so you have to find this, uh, a different one now. Um, actually, I could probably go to each tra uh, trash can without having to run into any po uh, trainers. So that's good. In fact, I probably didn't even need to fight that old man. So how about this? How about I cut him until I get it open? Because really, it's different for each person. Alright, I found the second switch. Not too long, but it's still very irritating. I don't like this gym pretty much. Uh, but, you know, it's what it is. Actually, um, this whole fight, I think, um... I think Onox can actually do very, very well in this. I'm not sure how many rare candies I have, but if, if it's possible, I could actually evolve Onox. Hey, you little talk! It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric type Pokemon, I'm number one! I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like how I do in the enemies in battle. Here we are with Lieutenant Surge. Very Guile-like looking guy. I already mentioned he looked like Guile, and I still think he does. Except he has a cool, uh... He has a cool camo pants. <laughs> He's gonna start off with Raichu with the moves Thunder Wave, Shock Wave, Quick Attack, and Double Team. In the original game, it's Thunderbolt, Thunder, Thunder Wave, and Quick Attack. He probably wouldn't do much against, uh, Onox, so I'm just gonna bring up Earthquake. I personally think that this Raichu should have been his strongest Pokemon. I mean, it was his strongest Pokemon in the Cancer games. It, it is a strongest Pokemon in the, re in the rematch of this game, but still, it's kind of weird how they uh, decide to change it to the other Pokemon, which I'm not really a huge fan of. But you know, so that cake that takes that takes care of that. God, that doesn't cake tear of that. And we level up to level 52. Awesome. God, he's like such a physical Pokemon. Uh, now he's going to bring out Magneton, which shouldn't really be too hard. Um, he has Supersonic, Double Team, Shockwave, and Mirror Shot. In the original game, it's Zap Cannon, Lock On, Double Team, and Swift. That Lock On is going to be kind of devastating because uh, what it does is it makes sure the next move is 100% accuracy, and it's usually uh, Zap Cannon that does the trick because that move always paralyzes. Uh, something interesting about Lieutenant Surge is that there was, in fact, a Pokemon War uh, involving so many electric types, uh, you know, destroying a whole bunch of Pokemon, but that was uh, kind of like a theory uh, in some cases. Now he's going to bring up an Electrode. This Electrode, I have no idea what it is, because in the original game, it's pretty much the same thing. Screech, Double Team, Swift, and Explosion. I'll see what it is. I'll just put up what it is uh, in this version, and he's going to use Double Team. God, that's go That's all he's going to use. Since Electrode is ridiculously fast, it's going to be annoying to take him on. Um, but yeah, I don't think. Well, maybe uh, the next one won't be too different, but you know. But trust me, you thought that the last uh, TM was lame. Wait until you see this one. God, it's god awful. And oh wow, he's bringing up his uh, strongest Pokemon, Electabuzz. Uh, I'm going to switch, because I know what move he has. Um, hmm. I might as well just take out Hera. Uh, the Selectabuzz has Quick Attack, Shockwave, Light Screen, and Low Kick. I switched out, uh, Onox because of Low Kick. I think that would probably kill me. Um, in the original game, he has Thunder Punch, Thunder, Light Screen, and Quick Attack. This is his strongest Pokemon in his team. I never thought his team was too bad. I mean, he has Light Screen. That's not going to really help. I'm surprised none of his team uh, members have Reflect. You know, you think that uh, Electro has that, but I guess not. Uh, oh, that's weird. Oh, God. It's like you guys can't tell if he's dying. <laughs> uh, silly, um, silly capture board. It's actually not the capture board that does it. It's my uh, computer sometimes. Whenever I'm, like, not clicked on my screen, like, whenever my DS capture skips frames, I end up, uh, like, I have to click on the capture screen, and then it'll work. So that's really weird. And thank you, Hera, for making, for, like, taking that hit. Because, Jesus, man, I did a lot more than I should have. Well, then again, I think Electabuzz is more of a special attacker, where it's an evolved form as a physical attacker, so. Okay, that's good. Um, Lieutenant Surge is not really, hey, he's okay, I guess. Um... I guess I'm okay uh, with Lieutenant Surge. He's an alright gym leader. I mean, the whole idea with him and, uh, you know, war Pokemon, I thought that was pretty interesting. Plus, he looks like Guile, and I think that Guile's awesome. I mean, who doesn't love his theme song, you know? 
Alright, and this Electrode, let's see what he has. Double team? Okay. I have no idea what Electrode... Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what this Electrode is. Uh, in the original game, it's pretty much a carbon copy of his uh, original Electrode that I mentioned before. Um, other than that, you'll just see what his moveset is on screen. I don't know why he has two Electrodes. Are you missing... He's missing a Johto Pokemon. He doesn't have an Ampharos. That's a Johto Pokemon. That makes sense. But instead, he has a team of lame, almost forgettable almost forgettable Pokemon, and I don't like it, but we beat him, so that's good. Ah, you're so strong! Okay, kid, you get a Thunder Badge. Hey, in today's generation, in 5th gen, our gym badges were way better names than this. Legend Badge? Yes. <laughs> There's something else. Here's a TM for you. We get TM34. It contains Shockwave. Zap! Shockwave is a move that, uh, doesn't miss. It has 60 power though, so honestly, I can't see any good reason to use it again. It's one of those TMs that is very pointless. You know, maybe if you want to give it to a psychic Pokemon that could learn it. I, I don't know what kind of psychic Pokemon learns it, but I don't know. It just seems poopy in some cases. I gotta stop saying in some cases. Is that like a new catchphrase? Like whatever? Though whatever's more intentional, this is like so unintentional. Now, I gotta keep checking my, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, just one more level, I swear. What happened to all my rare candies? I thought I got more rare candies than that. Man, this game has really hard rare candies to find. Like, I was playing Emerald earlier, and I have like six, uh, only seven, six badges in. Jeez, the rare candies are hard to get. Um, I was, I was debating if I should do this side quest now. It's really fast, considering that this poem is really fast. Uh, maybe I could save it till next time. I know we haven't really done much, and I apologize for that, but... Oh, well, we did do something, but I, I lately I've been liking to add more things to my videos. I don't want to have it too high up. Like, I don't want it to go over 20 minutes. That's a little too much for me. But, how about we'll stop it right here, okay? So, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we will do a side quest back at Johto, because it's always calling our name after every gym bash, and we'll head back to Kanto and continue on the journey, because this side quest is pretty short, okay? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all whenever.